The catheter can be inserted during the standard approach for TKA. The catheter is placed after the implant is positioned while the cement is curing, thus not adding time to the operative procedure. Identify the adductor tubercle of the epicondyle of the femur. Retract the VMO with blunt retractors to expose both the anterior surface of the medial intermuscular septum and the catheter entry point. The medial intermuscular septum, which serves as the floor for the catheter placement, is readily visualized and lies just anterior to the adductor tendon. The adductor tendon can be palpated beneath the intermuscular septum as it inserts into the adductor tubercle. The catheter entry point is covered by thin layers of overlying fascia, which should be bluntly dissected digitally prior to catheter insertion. The VMO, the sartorius, and the adductor muscles form the muscular borders of the adductor canal. To place the catheter, start by inserting the inducer needle and T-peel sheath into the superior lateral aspect of the knee, above the joint and lateral to the superior pole of the patella. Remove the needle and pass the catheter through the T-peel sheath. Peel away and discard the T-peel sheath. The distal end of the catheter is then grasped and placed into the internal slot, inside the slotted cannula of the MACB introducer, with the free end coming out distal to the handle. The catheter is secured by sliding the trocar into the slotted cannula and pulling the catheter tip back flush with the distal end. The introducer with the catheter secured inside is then advanced through the entry point, 12 to 16 centimeters cephalad to the superior pole of the patella along the femoral shaft just anterior to the intermuscular septum. Attaching the syringe to the introducer, the surgeon can bolus a dose of local anesthetic to provide an adductor canal block. Pinching the catheter against the femur, the trocar is removed. Rotating the handle medial while continuing to pinch the catheter against the femur, the slotted cannula is removed. The small loop of catheter is reduced by gently pulling the catheter snugly against the femur, leaving the catheter in place to provide a continuous adductor canal block. Once the catheter is placed, the retractors are removed. The wound is irrigated and closed in the standard fashion of choice. After wound closure, approximately three to four centimeters of the catheter is coiled and secured with steri strips and a tegraderm. Once the catheter is secured, connect it to the on cue or ambit pump. The flow rate is initially set and may be adjusted to the physician's preference.